wine friends and happy wine Wednesday. If you are new, I'm Allie from A Glass After Work. Thanks for joining. So today I am going to continue my Australian wine tasting adventures. If you haven't seen the last couple of weeks, I will put links down below, but the short and sweet of it is that um, with everything that's happened in Australia with the wildfires, I've decided to try to focus a little bit on some of the Australian wineries um, since buying their wines can help them recover a little bit. And I will say, I have been loving my Australian wine tasting. It's, um, as I have said before, it's not a region that I am very familiar with, to be honest. I think for a while I was kind of turned off to the wines. I thought they were just gonna be over extracted and just you know, big and jammy and kind of not, not my thing, uh, which for a while they were. Uh, but now what is coming out of Australia has been fantastic. We just got our second case of wine.com wines. Um, if you caught my Instagram live, I did a quick video unboxing all of the wines that I got and we're just, I'm loving them all. I will also say, I think I've pointed this out before, they're all screw top. I mean, could I ask for anything better? So the wine I have to share today is called Madfish and it's a 2014 Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, it was $17 on wine.com. And um, this vintage is actually the first vintage of Cabernet Sauvignon that this winery has done. So Madfish wines come from the southernmost region of Western Australia, which is where Madfish Bay, its uh, namesake, is located. And the uh, wine range and the winery itself uh, really got its start in 1992. The turtle on the label is an Aboriginal water turtle, and the turtle symbolizes perseverance and tolerance. So with that, why don't we dig on into the wine? Um, it has got a really nice, it has got a really, really nice ruby color. I will say it's starting to turn to the garnet color, which um, makes sense. It's a 2014 and um, probably, probably ready to start drinking. Oh, wow. Yeah, so still got a pretty big nose. Lots of black fruits in here. Um, some blueberries. Um, interestingly, I'm getting some green pepper and some minty menthol notes. Also, maybe a little bit of like, I don't know, thyme and maybe rosemary. Um, something kind of one of those herbs that I cook with when I'm when I'm roasting a chicken. Yeah, oh, it smells real good. All right, uh, why don't we give it a taste? Cheers. Mm. So, getting lots of those blackberries, lots of those uh, blueberries, some plums in there. Um, definitely also getting a lot of that green pepper. I'm, I'm really surprised by the green pepper. It's probably not my favorite thing. Um, uh, behind all of that, there's also some some good kind of mocha coffee notes, which are which are really nice. I'd say the wine's kind of medium tannins, medium body, uh, definitely easily uh, easily drinkable. Um, um, so I would say this is okay uh, overall. This is probably one of my least favorite of the Australian wines that we've been drinking recently, but I gotta be honest, we have been drinking some fantastic wines, so this wine definitely has a lot to live up with. On Insta Stories over the weekend, I saw that Perth Wine Girl was actually at Madfish Winery since it's not too far away from Perth, and she really liked the Madfish Malbec. So I might uh, give that a try since I, I haven't tried that and, and, and I'm experimenting and nothing like taking a recommendation. So I would love to know, have you ever had a chance to visit Australia? Maybe check out some of the wineries. Let me know in the comments below. 
So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate those. If you aren't already a subscriber, you can do that by clicking on the icon right here or on the subscribe button down below. But don't forget, also click on that bell because it will notify you when I upload a new video, which is going to be every Wine Wednesday. And if you're looking for a recommendation, you can find one right there. Thanks for joining and happy Wine Wednesday. Cheers.